All right, so you want some of those big old boulder-like shoulders, right? Well, you're in luck. You came to the right place. I'm gonna tell you exactly how to achieve that. So it's no secret that when you have big, wide, round shoulders, you just look like more of a masculine man. You look more domineering and you definitely get more attraction from the women. So I'm gonna share with you guys the top three exercises that you can start implementing into your workouts right now to immediately see an increase in the size and the width of your shoulders. So without further ado, let's get right into it. Okay, first thing I wanna mention is that, you know, genetics do play a bit of a part in the width of your shoulders. There's some people, you know, like Dwight Howard who just genetically have these wide shoulders which mostly relies on the length of your clavicles you know your collarbone i unfortunately am not gifted in the collarbone area i actually have very short collarbone so i had to work extra hard to build up my shoulders also i actually broke my collarbone on two separate occasions so my right collarbone is actually a bit shorter than it actually should be i don't know if you can see the uh bump right there but yes it is definitely not a natural collarbone so I had to work extra hard and I had to learn the hard way on how to build up width and bigness and roundness of my shoulders so take it from me this is how you do it so the shoulder or deltoid muscle actually consists of three different heads you got the anterior head which is the front the medial head which is on the side and the posterior head which is back here in the rear to build up the width of our shoulders we mostly want to Focusing, be focusing on the medial head, you know, the outside head. Although the other two heads do play a minor part in the thickness and roundness of your shoulders. So the first and most effective exercise to build the width of your shoulders is the side lateral raise. So what you do for side lateral raises is you just grab two equal dumbbells and raise them up directly from your side above your shoulder height and then slowly go back down. But don't go all the way back down to your side because you don't want any resting in this movement. So if you bring it back down just before your side and then start the uh, ascent back upwards, that's the perfect range of motion. You don't have to go too heavy because I don't want you to hurt yourself. And there's a saying that my dad used to say is if you can make 10 pounds feel like 100 pounds, who's gonna tell your mom? So I usually just use 15 to 20 pounds for three sets of 10 to 15 repetitions. Exercise numero dos is the overhead press. The overhead press is a great mass building exercise and it mostly focuses on the medial and anterior heads of your muscle. So what you do is you grab a weight, preferably a barbell but with equal plates on either side. You start right here with the weight in front of your neck over your center of gravity. You want a little bit of bend in your knees and then with one solid movement you press the weight completely over your head but you still want to remember to have the weight over your center of gravity. Where a lot of people go wrong is they actually bring the weight out in front of them and this basically just switches all of the weight into the interior head of the shoulder. You want it evenly dispersed between the medial and anterior head. You can definitely go a bit heavier with this exercise because you have a bit more control and more of your body is going into the movement. You gotta go nice, slow, and steady, and I like to do three sets of eight to 10 repetitions. So that's exercise number two, and the last exercise we're gonna be talking about, exercise number three, is gonna focus on what we left out in the previous exercises, the posterior region of the shoulder. So we're gonna be doing upright rows. For the upright row, what you do is you grab a barbell or an easy curl bar with equal plates on the side. You have the weight resting in front of you, you know, in front of your crotch area, and then with one swift movement, you bring the weight up in front of your nose, basically. You want to contract your rear delt as much as possible so you're getting the full maximum effect of the exercise. You can have a little bit of give in your knees to get that momentum going, but you want a full range of motion all the way up and all the way down to each rep. 
want to get your diet right, you know, eating right, eating your healthy amount of proteins, hydrates, keeping your fats and sugar low. But also, one other thing that plays a huge part in your body is that your shoulders is correct. Where a lot of guys go wrong. So you want to be sitting head up, head out, and shoulders full back to the time. That's going to give you that nice and I actually have a video on that, so if you guys want to check that out, I'll link that in the description as well. But that's going to do it for today's video, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. Let me know your favorite exercises for shoulders in the comments below. If you haven't already, subscribe to the post